Hey, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls? This is the one, the only, Mr. Criticism Guy 2009, aka Nintendo Free 2011. So, uh, before I begin really quick, I just wanted to say, um, like I said in my other video, if you haven't watched, I'm not going to be doing any videos this week. This is the only one I'm going to be posting up. I know it's like the other half of the week, I didn't really put too much. Plus, I haven't been able to do as many videos since I've been working since like yesterday, my first day of my second new job. Really fucking good. It pays a little bit more than my other one, so hey, you know, I may end up leaving that one because that one's kind of starting to get on in my little cafeteria shit. So, uh, yeah, other than that, um, this is the only picture I got for this video. I'm probably just going to be the only one I use. I only watch this video maybe once a week or once a month, but once again, I got to give a real quick shout out to um, Dabu Fucking 7. That dude's really badass. Definitely check his shit out. You know, he kind of sounds a little paranoid every now and then. He's got a lot more fucking subscribers than I do. He's even, like, um, did a couple of videos with, um, or for Christopher Green, aka Alternative Media Te Television and shit. Him and Fabius for Liberty. And you guys are into, into that, I'll put the links to their channel down below if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, without further ado on that, let's begin. So, uh, if we zoom in here, the NASA, whatever, this looks like from their archives way back in the days, the 1950s and 60s. You see this little, like, hovercraft thing. It looks like a little, like, if any of you guys have ever played that game, any of the Metroid games, like Samus or Ron or something, it looks like the same face of fucking Ridley a little bit, mixed with some Godzilla. I don't know what it is, but it's what it does. I mean, just look at that shit, you know. That shit doesn't look left and like it was man-made. Even though I was taught way back in the days when my I was still living with my family, even though I'm going to go out to visit them for a little bit. Pretty much till next week, Saturday or Sunday, if whenever day I come back. Um, pretty much, what is what it is, um, let me show you. This is probably the closest I could get. It looks all pixelated, but just bear with me there. It said this is from the archives of NASA during the 1950s or 60s of their Apollo like um, space missions. Which I wouldn't be surprised if it was the truth because unfortunately this is just crazy as fuck. Literally. I had no idea none of this shit was like even existing, you know. At the same time, I was kind of taught my religion, oh, there can't be no UFOs in like, my Christian religion at that time. But at the same time, the universe is huge as fuck. Literally. It goes beyond our fucking understanding to even know like if there is like life on not just other planets but in not different parts of the galaxy they're probably way beyond our solar system and shit I, I'm probably pretty much a firm believer that there probably is going to be fucking life out there whether you like it or not I, mean, I live in a fucking 702 in Vegas I remember the first time I came over here um, way back in 2002 my early teen years like um, when I first moved out here I'm not going to get into personal details but um, like the first like, the very first apartment we ended up living in when I was still with my folks at the time um, I saw this big ass fucking like um, meteor thing I saw it for like a split two seconds. I'm not sure if it was a meteor. It couldn't have been an asteroid. We'd be able to be dead right now if it was way back one, like 12 years ago. It was either that, or it could have been like a dying star, or it could have been a fucking UFO that crashed into somewhere. Because I'm only like five, six, maybe seven hours away from fucking Roswell, where it's supposed to be like a lot of UFO sightings and shit. And I, for the life of me, would not want to fucking go there because I do not feel like it shot and sniped in my fucking head. It's bad enough I'm already talking about alternative media news. So it's, strangely enough, I'm still here and I haven't been sniped in that for that, for telling the truth. And I live the freedom shit. And the uh, last thing I want to point out before I end this video is that, um, good fucking lord. Besides this thing being huge, I bet the rocket fuels or jetpacks or whatever, if it really does exist out there, like Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto, like San Andreas, if any of you guys remember that shit from back in the days, this isn't an act of God. This can be completely different, a completely different, like, sign, not just the time, time because this was from 1950 something, or 1960s, way back when. Or it could have been the 70s, I don't know. I'm not really good in the NASA history shit, because they're all from government, obviously. Who the fuck knows? Who cares? I don't know. A couple people do. Obviously, I care since I'm doing this video. And uh, overall thoughts and views on this? Who knows? This thing could be 100% legitimate fucking alien life form. Or it could be like fucking other alien life forms out there. Like, who knows? Like fucking Superman. That they actually look up like us and it could be among us. I have no fucking clue in any sense of that direction. I, I literally don't know. It's out of my hands with this one, obviously. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So like I always say, is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you guys every day, having a night, we're right around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed at the same time, don't drink the reckless. And um, I'm going to talk to you guys later, all right? Peace out, be easy, see you soon, um, see you around and all that good shit. And uh, take care, everybody, all right? I'm gone, late, goodbye, peace, I'm out of here. Hey, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, this is the one, the only, Mr. Criticism Guy 2009, aka Nintendo Free 2011, so, uh, before I begin really quick, I just wanted to say, um, like I said in my other video, if you haven't watched, I'm not going to be doing any videos this week, this is the only one I'm going to be posting up, I know it's like the other half of the week, I didn't really put too much, plus I haven't been able to do as many videos since I've been working, since like, probably just going to be the only one I use, 
I only watch this video maybe once a week or once a month, but once again, I gotta give a real quick shout out to um, Dabu Fucking Seven. That dude's really badass. Definitely check his shit out. You know, he kind of sounds a little paranoid every now and then. He's got a lot more fucking subscribers than I do. He's even like um, did a couple videos with um, or for Christopher Green, aka Alternative Te Television and shit. Him and on Fabio for Liberty. If any guys are into that, into that, I'll put their links to their channels down below if you're interested. And uh, yeah, without further ado, on that, let's begin. So uh, if we zoom in here, the NASA or whatever, this looks like from their archives way back in the days, the 1950s and 60s. You see this little like hovercraft thing. It looks like a little like. Any of you guys have ever played that game? Any of the Metroid games like Samus or Ronish? It looks like the same face of fucking Ridley a little bit, mixed with some Godzilla. I don't know what it is, but it sort of does. I mean, just look at that. If there is like life on not just other planets, but in not different parts of the galaxy, they're probably way beyond our solar system and shit. I, I'm probably pretty much a firm believer that there probably is going to be fucking life out there, whether you like it or not. I, mean, I live in a fucking 702 in Vegas. I remember the first time I came over here, um, way back in 2002, my early teen years, like, um, when I first moved out here. I'm not going to get into personal details, but, um, like, the first, like, the very first apartment we ended up living in when I was still with my folks at the time, um, I saw this big-ass fucking, like, um, meteor thing. I saw it for, like, a split two seconds. I'm not sure if it was a meteor it couldn't have been an asteroid. We'd be all be dead right now if it was way back one, like 12 years ago. It was either that, or it could have been like a dying star, or it could have been a fucking UFO that crashed into somewhere. Because I'm only like five, six, maybe shit, you know. That shit doesn't look left on like it was man-made. Even though I was taught way back in the days when I was still living with my family, even though I'm going to go out to visit them for a little bit. Pretty much the next week, Saturday or Sunday, if whenever day I come back. Um, pretty much what is what it is. Um, let me show you. This is probably the closest I could get. It looks all pixelated, but just bear with me there. It said this is from the archives of NASA during the 1950s or 60s of their Apollo like um, space missions, which I wouldn't be surprised if it was the truth because unfortunately this is just crazy as fuck. Literally, I had no idea none of this shit was like even existing. You know, at the same time I was kind of taught my religion. Oh, there can't be no UFOs in like my Christian religion at that time. But at the same time, the universe is huge as fuck. Literally, it goes beyond our fucking understanding to even know like. It's seven hours away from fucking Roswell, where it's supposed to be like a lot of UFO sighting and shit. And I, for the life of me, would not want to fucking go there because I do not feel like it shot and sniped in my fucking head. It's bad enough I'm already talking about alternative media news. So, it's, strangely enough, I'm still here and I haven't been sniped in that for that, for telling the truth about liberty freedom shit. And the uh, last thing I want to point out before I end this video is that, um, good fucking lord. Besides this thing being huge, I bet the rocket fuels or jetpacks or whatever, if it really does exist out there, like. Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto like San Andreas, if any of you guys remember that shit from back in the days. This isn't an act of God. This can be completely different a completely different like sign, not just the time times because this was from nineteen fifty something or nineteen sixties, way back when. That could have been the seventies, I don't know. I'm not really good in the NASA history shit, because they're all from government, obviously. Hey, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, this is the one, the only. Mr. Criticism got 2009 AK and Nintendo Free 2011. So, uh, before I do begin really quick, I just wanted to say, um, like I said in my other video, if you haven't watched, I'm not going to be doing any videos this week. This is the only one I'm going to be posting up. I know it's like the other half of the week, I didn't really put too much. Plus, I haven't been able to do as many videos since I've been working since like yesterday, my first day of my second new job. Really fucking good. It pays a little bit more than my other one. So, hey, you know, I may end up leaving that one because that one's kind of starting to get on me, my little cafeteria shit. So, uh, yeah, other than that, um, this is the only picture I got for this video. I'm 